Namaste. Kundalini awakening. Many of you are doing different practices or techniques in trying to awaken your Kundalini. However advanced or familiar you are with the technique that you're practicing, and what happened? Some of you are going through a very, very traumatic experiences. You emotionally feeling drained as you might thought your Kundalini is awakening. Why this is happening? Now let's understand the four steps of Kundalini awakening. Number one, the nadis need to be disciplined. When I say the nadis, that is the ida, the left side of the energetic channel from the base of your spine, root chakra, all the way connecting to the left nostril. That is the ida. Ida nadi. Nadi means what? Cable. The cable that connecting or distributes the life force. And the right side of the energy is Pigna. Pigna governs the Shakti, the life force, which means it helps us run our physical body, worldly life activities. Now, these two energy from the left and to the right side of the body, they need to be balanced, which means they need to do what they're supposed to do. Now, if the left channel and the right channel is not regulated or disciplined properly, they won't do what they're supposed to do. And that's why people get sickness, disease, ailment. That's step one. Balance your left and right either and the pigna energy channel. Step two. Awakening your chakras. The major seven chakras that most of us know is the root chakra, Swadishta, emotional chakra, and your solar plexus governs your determination, your decision making, your drive, and your strength. Heart chakra, opening to receive love and the ability to give love. Stroke chakra, your ability to be creative and speaking of your truth. Third eye again chakra, the ability to see the truth. The knowingness, crown chakra, Sahasrara. Sahasrara connect to the cosmic energy all the way taking you to the higher consciousness. When each chakra is awakening, this can happen during your kirtan, during your yoga practice, during your meditation practice, during your chanting, or by doing some healing. When a particular chakra is opening, the experience is very pleasant. Many of you have already experienced that you did a course, you did a retreat, and you're doing some sort of practice with a specific teacher, you did certain healing, your body feels well, you feel peaceful, pleasant, and just feel worthy. You wake up feeling good, you feel so fresh, so alive, and that's your chakra is being awakened a one particular chakra. The chakra, they are independent. They do not connect to one another. They do not link. How the chakra is linking with each other, that is through the awakening of Shushuna. And what is the Shushuna? Shushuna is the center energetic canal, which is the spinal cord. And Shushuna helps you to transcend or ascend the energy the Kundalini seek out of the base chakra. The Shusuna opens and connects to all seven chakra, taking the energy from the root chakra all the way to the crown. And when that happens, the dormant part in your brain will be fully opening, will be connected, will be charged by electricity circuit so that you now become godly alive. Your psychic ability will be awakening and you just know things. Once the Shushuna is opening and all seven chakras being opened and your left and right nadis are balanced and displayed, then your body is ready for Kundalini awakening. So if you jump into a Kundalini awakening without the initial steps, your body is going to lose its balance. You feel depressed and you feel that something is happening to you, you do not understand what is happening. 
Although you're becoming knowing, you know that it's more, even that you have met God, even that you have received the truth, you have met the universal core energy, you became light and love, but still there will be moments that you feel depressed. And all these traumatic experiences and memory keep coming back, even though consciously you're saying no to them, but you just cannot stop them. This is a sign that you need to go back to do the basic. Now, Nadi Shudana, the breath work helps you to discipline your Ida and the Pigana Nadis. And Athana, the basic traditional Ahapa practice, is this very mild practice everybody can do to start opening your seven chakras. The meditation helps you to calm the body, calm the mind down, connecting to the base chakra, to the crown chakra. And Kriya, Kriya is the next level of your yoga practice. And then when this is all ready, step by step, your body is now well prepared for your Kundalini awakening. And remember, Kundalini awakening is not to take the individual body, individual mind connecting to the upper above, the pure consciousness, but more importantly is to bring the consciousness down to earth so that we can reduce sufferings that is unnecessary.